it's never left you. Nothing that's ever been inside of you has left you. You just stopped practicing the action steps that made you feel greatness. You stopped practicing the very things every day that made you feel purpose, productive. You forgot that in chasing certain things that you thought might make you happy, that you stopped practicing the very things that did. Practice what you want most in your life. Practicing joy is a practice. It's practicing. Practicing love is a practice. It's practicing really loving all of who you are and your own journey, this is powerful. I'm talking to a friend the other day. They made a comment in the text chain the next morning that said, I just wanna get back to being the old me. I just wanna get back to where I felt great, to where I felt the things I felt before. I just gotta get back to me. And I simply responded back with the text that I followed up with a phone call, but I responded back with this text. It's never left you. Nothing that's ever been inside of you has left you. You just stopped practicing the action steps that made you feel greatness. You stopped practicing the very things every day that made you feel purpose, productive, you forgot that in chasing certain things that you thought might make you happy, that you stopped practicing the very things that did. See, when, when we are searching for happiness, right, we're kind of missing joy. There's a great video by Matthew McConaughey. I think he gives a, 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 a high school graduation or college graduation uh, speech, but he talks about finding true joy. And I, I love it because I think the difference between joy and happiness are very unique. See, oftentimes we chase happiness. We're chasing a feeling that we know and we love and we recognize, but when we get to what we were chasing, it's not what we wanted. And that's dangerous. But if we find joy in the work, if we find joy in the journey, if we find joy in learning about ourselves as we get there, those are moments. Those are moments of happiness. Sometimes you have to force yourself to find that in the middle of the day. You know, go on a long car ride with your family. I do them all the time. I can tell you every cycle of love and family is in a car ride. There will be moments where someone has to go to the bathroom immediately after having already gone like five minutes earlier. Though someone won't like a song. The air conditioner will be too cold for one person and too hot for another. You know, they don't want to stop at this restaurant. I mean, you name it, a car ride will literally be a moment of your life where you will hit every cycle of frustration and love and family. But then there'll be a moment, if you find it, where your whole family singing the same song and you just stop and hear it and listen and know, wow, for this moment, what an awesome feeling. We're all on the same page. We're all in the same moment. We're all singing the same song. I'm not gonna tell you what song that is because I'll get laughed at or I might not get laughed at, but the reality is it's something that happens to me that I recognize and I focus on. But when I'm talking to this person about their life, this is not just one person. This is people I talk to all the time. In my career, I talk to people searching for the job that, the job that gives them the sense of, of purpose they had before. But every time they get a new job, they're looking for another level of purpose. And nothing in the job is going to provide them the purpose. It's the journey that's going to provide them the joy that gets them the love. So going back to another point, it never left you. See, this is key. Practice what you want most in your life. Practicing joy is a practice. It's practicing. Practicing love is a practice. It's a focus. Practicing really loving all of who you are and your own journey, this is powerful, okay? We're talking about a journey on a car ride and now I'm taking it to your life's journey. Enjoy the spot you're in right now. I was talking to a lady yesterday and she said, my husband just got a new job with the government. It's a GS whatever and it's gonna change our lives. And I paused her and I just said, just remember, 
money won't change your life. The things that you do with that money can. So don't go from level A to level D and forget that B and C were a part of that. Remember that when you shift and you keep shifting happiness, keep shifting what's going to change your trajectory to life and full of happiness can also be the very things that you missed because you didn't pay attention to the journey. So when I feel like something's left me behind and I'm no longer all of myself, and let me tell you what, there are a lot of people right now that feel this. There are a lot of people like me that are extroverts, that are high energy, that in the last year, we have not been able to go to those big events that we thrive on. There haven't been big parties and big family gatherings and reunions and things that I mean, I get into those settings and I just feel at home. So you got to find moments where you can find that home in smaller settings, right? But this last year has created a lot of people feeling empty, feeling like they have to get back to their old selves. It never left you. Folks, it never left you. You are exactly who you were. You're just, you're just growing. And each day that we grow and the more we focus on the person that we're becoming, and we smile along the journey, we get to a point where we really appreciate all those things. It's, it's like having a really bad day and failing at something. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll say I fail at parenting all the time. I said the wrong thing to one of my boys. I did something that I really wish I would have done differently. Maybe I responded in a way that, that I could have done differently. The other night, I forgot to clean up for dinner because I thought nobody had eaten and I left all the food in the, in the oven because I thought the family, that the rest of my family had to eat and I forgot about it and they had already eaten and my wife woke up in the morning and found all the food sitting in the oven. Failure alert, right? I didn't mean to do it. I wish I did it differently. I grew from it. I learned I should have just asked the question. If I asked the assertive question, hey, I, I wish we, uh, uh, do, were you eating before or after? Really simple. I would have cleaned it up. She actually thought I cleaned up, which probably gave me extra brownie points and I had done the opposite. I fail all the time. I don't dwell on that failure. I learn from it. I grow from it. See, part of, part of becoming the person that you see yourself being is also about being comfortable with that journey. This individual was talking about about their, their, them as a parent and how they wanted to show their children, you know, just this powerful person, this person who had been so great before. And I said, you've been showing them all along. Nothing has changed. You're just growing. You're a better version of who you were yesterday, today. They see every level of that journey. They see it when you're not watching. They see everything you do. They know your weaknesses. They know your strengths. They know what you're bad at. They'll tell you. They know more about you than sometimes you even know about yourself. They have a version of you. But the more you try to be a version of something to them or to the world, the less you are the authentic you. So the message very, very clearly, very, very simply, is if you feel like you have to return to the old you, it's always been there. It's never left. It's still in you. Use it a different way. As I've, as I've grown up, I've always played sports. Nothing's harder for men and women as we get older and realize that we can't do the very things we used to do. We just have to do them differently. I find joy and comfort in coaching in ways that I used to find joy and comfort in playing. I have to shift. I still want to play. I, I can still beat both of my sons in a race and, that, and I value that, but it won't be long. It will not be long. They'll be working me and I'm going to have to deal with that and I'll have to understand it. And the reason I bring that up is it's part of the journey. It's finding new joys even when there's parts of failure that exist or we're just growing in a different way. But the level of wisdom that I gain from those journeys are the things that I try to hold on to most. And I know that I don't need to be the old glory of the, of the, the speed that I was when I was 21. I need to use this differently and better. I need to play smarter. I need to do things that, that, that allow me to be a better version of myself. So don't think of it as it having left you. It's always been there. 
Show the world who you are by being as close to the authentic you as possible, as possible. I'm Scott Danner. Thanks for joining me.